What's in the presets tab? Hello, in this video, I will show you what's in the presets tab from left to right and top to bottom. The first we can see here is the search text field where you type text to search the names of presets. Click the search button will show the search results in the presets list. Click this button will empty the search text field and the search results. This is the up one level button. It places the contents of the parent folder into the presets list. The home button places the contents of the home folder into the presets list. The user button places the contents of the user folder into the presets list. The load programs here. It allows you to choose programs first, then choose the presets. And take to load the preset settings only after loading your own programs. Then, this is the preset list. It displays a list of factory collection that comes with Spooky2 as well as your own user collection. Factory preset contains both settings and programs. Each directory has presets in different modes. We have presets for detox, cancer, lime, etc. The shell empty presets only have settings, do not include programs. So when you use this process, you need to choose programs by yourself. If you use contact like hand cylinder, tense pass, you use the process under the contacts directory. If you choose plasma, you use the presets in the plasma directory. The same with remote. If you use audio, you can use this preset. This is coil preset and coil laser preset. This is the user directory. Your custom presets are saved in this directory. You can use this button to delete the custom preset and use this button to save custom preset. And this is the chain editor button. The programs contains the programs in the preset. You cannot edit programs in this column. If the current preset is a chained preset, only the programs in the first preset are shown. This is the notes for the preset. Preset notes normally contain important information of one kind or another. The Spooky2 hardware required and the transmission mode is almost always specified here. And it will show the estimated total runtime. The preset to chain pane here allows you to create your own preset chain. This button deletes the selected preset in the presets to chain list. This one saves the chained preset you are constructing in the presets to chain list to your user folder. This button moves the selected preset in the presets to chain list up in the list. This button moves the selected preset in the process to chain list down in the list. Preset chain displays the chain preset of the currently selected preset in the preset list. Okay, thanks for watching this video.